Okay, good morning scholars, welcome back to the channel. This morning we're going to be looking at the subtractive principle, subtraction, and we're going to look at the rules and the common errors that students tend to make so that we can avoid these errors. Okay, so subtraction. And this is at the grade four level because we're looking. Yes. The camera is high enough for me to be able to see the equation here, I think. Okay. All right. I'll fix that. Mm. Can you see it now? Yes, I can. All right. So, okay. so this is at the grade four. Level because we're, we're looking at the, the basic, the basic, basic principles of subtraction, right? And this is subtractive principle of arithmetic. So there are four basic principles of arithmetic, four basic ones, right? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we're looking at subtraction. All right, now I'm going to put a set of sums that we're going to, sorry, a set of um, operations that we're going to do. So I want three more. All right, now it's very important when we're doing any operation, particularly addition and subtraction, that we line up the digits. Line up your units with the other units, line up your tens, line up your hundreds, line up your thousands. That is of extreme importance. So we need, for the first three, I'm going to put in the place values, the units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on, just to make sure that we understand what's happening. For the other six, I'm not going to do that. If your teacher requires you to do that for all of your operations, then please do it. For those who already have mastered the place value, you don't have to put them in. And there is a video that, that I did on the place value system. If you are not sure how that works, you can take a look at that video and bring yourself up to speed. So for the first three, I'm going to put the units tens, hundreds, thousands, all right, so 6,416 subtract 482, and remember, usually the, the kinds of problems, so let's say you have worded problems, the kinds of problems that would indicate that you subtract are those that are asking you, if, they are, if it's literally saying subtract or take away or find the difference or minus, right? However, if it also says if there's a certain amount and some was taken away, how much is left, right? How much remains? Those kinds of problems usually indicate that you're going to be subtracting. All right, so what we have six ones and we're taking away two ones. So whether you're using your fingers, your counters, or mental arithmetic in your head, six take away two is four, right? Now, 
we have 110 and we want to take 8 tenths. 8 is bigger than 1. So we actually have to go to the hundreds place and we're taking 1 of the 100, leaving 3 hundreds, and we're taking that 100 and bringing it over here. Now, remember, some children like to say they're borrowing one. You're not actually going to give it back, so you're not really borrowing the one. What you're doing is, whichever place it is, you're just taking one group, whether it's one group of hundred, one group of ten, one group of thousand, and you're transferring it to the other place value because you need an extra group in order to do the subtraction. Right? So now we have 11 groups of 10, and we're taking out 8 groups of 10, so we have 3 groups of 10 remaining. In a similar way, 4 is bigger than 3. Remember, this is no longer 4. We, all, we took one group of 100 from the 400s, so it's no longer 400. So we, need, we can't take the 4 from it anymore. So now we need to go over to the thousand place and take one group of thousand, leaving five, and bring it here. Okay, so it's 13, take away four, and that is nine. And there's nothing to take from the 5,000, so we put it back. So the answer is 5,934. Second one, 9,481. Now remember, we have to line up our place values. That is very, very important. You can't put the three here. It's not 3,000. It's 300. So the three has to line up under the 100. That's how you line it up. If you had put the three here and the eight here and the six, you would get a completely different answer which would actually be incorrect. So you must make sure to line up your numbers. So we can't take 6 from 1. Bear in mind that as you advance through your mathematics courses, you will get to a point where you are asked to take 6 from 1 or any bigger number from a smaller one. You will actually end up with a negative number. So it's not that we cannot do that operation, but at this level, you don't need to concern yourself with that. Right? So as far as you need to know now, 6 is the bigger number. We can't take it from 1. So we're going to take 1 10 out of the 8 tens, leave 7 tens, bring that 1 10 here with the 1, so that becomes 11. 1 10 and 1 unit. And 11 take away 6 gives 5. We can't take 8 from 7. So we're going to take 1 out of the 400, leave 300. Put the 100 there. So 17 take away 8, that leaves 9. 3 take away 3 is 0. There's nothing under the 9,000, so we put it back. So our difference... Our difference, remember when we subtract, the result is called the difference. Our difference then is 9,095. Next in line, 3,200. Subtract 148. Okay. One common mistake that students make. When we're looking, when we're dealing with zeros, one common mistake is they just put the, the digits back down. They say eight from zero is eight. That's incorrect. Zero represents no quantity, nothing. So if you have nothing, you cannot take eight from it. And look, in the tens place, there's nothing also to take from the tens place to transfer it to ones. So we actually have to go to the hundreds place. And we were going to have to do two transfers this time, not just one. So we go to the hundredth place, take 100, leave back 100, 
bring it here but we also need it over here so we have to take one from the ten nine is left and we put the ten the one there so we have, we have ten ones now instead of zero ones we know because we took that group of ten and put it over to the ones we have ten ones ten take away eight is two nine take away four is five one take away one is zero and we bring down the three so it's three thousand and fifty two so we're not going to put in the place values like i said for the others if your teacher still wants you to do that please do so and if you still need to do it in order to remind yourself of what the place values are that you're dealing with then fine go ahead and do it so here we have 369 take away seven now remember the seven is seven once we don't put it out here we don't put it here we line it up with the ones the units nine take away seven is two and there's nothing under the three or the six, so we simply just bring them down. There's nothing there to take from them, right? So the answer is 362. 2,834 take away 136. Okay. Six is bigger than four. So we need to get one group of 10 to change it to ones. So we take one group of 10, leave two tens, and bring it over here as one, as, as 10 ones. So now we have 14 ones. 14 take away six is eight. Three is bigger than two. So again, we need to take one from the hundred one from the 800 leaves 700. Take that 100 here and we're really changing it into tens. Okay? So 12 take away 3. That's 9. 7 take away 1 is 6. And 2. So we always remember, even though we're just looking at the digits and we're saying 8 take away 1 leaves 7. Take the, put the one over there. Remember, this is in the hundreds place. We're actually taking away one group of hundreds. And we're changing it into tens. Right? So this is actually 12 tens. And we're subtracting three tens. Just bear that in mind. Still go ahead, it, you know, work out 12, take away 3, and so on. But just remember the place value that it is that we're working with. 9,000 take away 148. Now, three zeros at the top. We know we're not supposed to just put back the 148. We're bigger than that, right? We know we're not supposed to do that. So we're going to have to go all the way to the thousand place. So we're going to end up doing three transfers. So we're taking one from the nine, eight is left. So we have ten hundreds, take one. We have ten tens, take one. Now we have ten ones. Now we can go ahead and subtract. So 10 take away 8, that's 2. 9 take away 4, that's 5. 9 take away 1 is 8, and we bring down 8. 8,852. The last 3, so we have the last 3 here. 4,176. Take away 283. We line up the units, line up the tens, line up the hundreds. There is no other thousand in this row. Six take away three is three. 
8 is bigger than 7, we're going to take 1 out of the 100, leave no 100, take that over here as 1 group of 10, so now we have 17, take away 8, and that's 9. We can't take 2 from 0. Take 1 out of the 1,000, left 3,000, bring it here as 100, so that's 10 hundreds, take away 2 hundreds, that's 8 hundreds left. And bring down the 3. 3,893. We have 2 to go. 2,000, sorry, 20,305. Take away 162. Alright, so 5 take away 2 is 3. We can't take 6 from 0. We take 1 out of the 100. Carry it as 1 group of 10. 10 take away 6 is 4, 2 take away 1 is 1, and we bring down the 20,000. 20,143. Finally, 2,360 take away 2,360. What do you notice about that subtraction? Do you notice that it's the same number being subtracted from itself? Whenever we're subtracting a number from itself, we are going to get zero. Zero. Six take away six is zero. Three take away three is zero. Two take away two is zero. So for subtraction, whenever we're taking a number from itself, the answer is zero. All right? So to recap, the operation, the problems that would indicate subtraction, if you're asked to minus, take away, subtract. Find the difference. See how many are left. Right? If a quantity is removed from another quantity, what quantity remains, that kind of thing. So the idea is you start with an amount and you're reducing it. You're removing something, you're taking something away and you want to see how much is left, how much remains. Right? So that's the basic principle of subtraction. Remember to line up your digits under their place value. If you don't, your answer will most certainly be incorrect. So that's the very first step you need to make sure. Line up your digits under the correct place value. If you end up with a bigger digit, at the bottom, that means you need to go across to the next place value, take a group of 100 or take a group of 10 or take a group of 1000, whichever place it is, and change it into the, the, value, the place value that you want. Okay? So it's not that you're borrowing one, you're not borrowing one, you're not going to give it back. You're, you're taking a group of whichever place value and you're transferring it to the other place value. And for the zeros, be very careful with the zeros. Remember, you can't take a number from zero, so you definitely need to go and get another group to bring over. So you can do your subtraction. If you have been helped by this video, please share share with your friends, share with your classmates so that they can benefit also because we need to master these principles of arithmetic. And subtraction is one of the principles that some students have issues with. So make sure if you want to watch the video as many times as you need to to ensure that you have mastered this before you can move on to the other operations that we have to do in, in our mathematics course. So my lovely scholars, thank you for joining me again. Let me know in the comments if there are any topics you'd like for me to do a video on. Please remember to share. If you have not subscribed, now is the time to do so. If you have been helped, please leave a comment to say, thank you miss, I'd appreciate that. Take care until next time. Thank wow.